Hi everybody. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. Doing well. Doing well, thank you. Are you guys seeing lots of cool stuff at the show? Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite stuff? Say something Donna Salazar stuff. Okay, yes, good answer. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into this because there's a lot we have to do and we have to do it in one hour and my classes normally take two or three hours. So we're gonna try and go really fast. If you fall behind, don't get stressed out. We'll catch you up, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the, does everybody have this? All your instructions are here. So if you're fast, you feel free to jump ahead, okay? Unless I tell you something specific to not do, feel free to jump ahead on some of the other stuff, okay? So you're gonna start by taking out the denim and the chipboard for the birdcage. I have to follow my own instructions because I never remember the order I did stuff in. And you're gonna go ahead and adhere the denim to the chipboard. So you're adhering this part to this part, okay? So the wire part to the chipboard. Okay, so if you have finished that, then you can take the denim uh, of, for the door and adhere the denim to the chipboard for the cage door. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to put the cage front, the door, and the background all into the color catcher. Okay, so all three pieces into the color catcher. And then you're gonna pick up, did you see that? I almost dropped it and I caught it, ninja. <laughs> and now you're gonna to wanna to shake the, all three pieces, the background, it's not covered, the cage front and the cage door, and start shaking your smooch spritz. Okay, now when you are shaking your smooch spritz, you wanna keep shaking until you do not see any of the glitter stuck to the side of the glass. Okay? And your, you can shake it as hard as you want as long as you shake it every single time before you push that nozzle down. Yep, and you're gonna spray down the cardboard and the, also the denim pieces. So spritz everything with a smooch spritz. Okay, so after you have everything spritzed, you're gonna take your cage doors and it's gonna be hanging down below. So you're gonna want to go ahead and just round it. Okay, so just round it because it's moist, so it should be able to form a little bit. So go ahead and just round it up, because it's supposed to be as if it was the door closed, okay? okay. And then you're gonna take the cage itself, and if you've got some of these going on, you can either leave it, because it's all cute and sparkly underneath, or you can go and you can glue them back later, but for speed, you know, we'll just keep going. Um, then you're also going to do the same thing to the cage. Just kind of gently bend it. Everybody see that? Just gently bend it so that it rounds it a little bit. Okay? Okay, so after you have finished with that, you're going to take all these little um, denim and canvas and all of the material fiber type products that are inside the little teeny baggie all of these are gonna go into the color catcher and you're gonna spray these down with water, not with the smooch spritz, okay? Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you are going to take my new uh, Peaches Mixed Media Inks. This is a pigment ink and you are going to use your stylus. Get it all nice and juiced up, so lots and lots. And then you are going to get this a little teeny bit more wet. Yeah. Go ahead and just spray right in my hand. Okay, so you want these to be pretty wet. Okay, really, really wet. Okay, then you're going to take your stylus and you are going to pounce it right on top. Just like this. Just like this. <laughs> so that it colors those flowers, okay? And now you're gonna do the same thing to the butterfly. Yeah, the butterfly. You want it more wet? No, that should probably be good. So now the same thing to the butterfly. Okay, then after you do that, flip your stylus over and you are going to use the mossy 
and you're going to do the same thing to the leaves. And you don't have to be messy. You don't have to do it in your hand if you don't want to. You could do it right inside the color catcher. But it's hard for me to show you if it's not in my hand. Okay, so nice and nice and colored in. Color catcher. <laughs> All right, so now you're going to use your heat gun. And the reason why we wet down the denim, it's not because we were going to do anything to it. It's because after you wet this cotton material and you heat it, it makes it get all wiggly and you know, it shrinks it down a little bit. So it makes it more grungy. Okay, so the people that are drying, once you're done, you're going to, can I see your cage? Okay, thank you. No, go ahead, keep trying. So what you're gonna do is you're going to use the fabric tack just along the very edge of the cage and adhere these two together, okay? The front to the back, not the center because you want it to be kind of lifted up so it looks like it's three-dimensional, okay? So just the edges, just the edges. So just the edges, okay? So if you finish that, you can tie the cage door to the um, bottom of the, the cage. So just thread it through the cage door and you know what, here's a really, here's a quick tip that is not in the instructions. If you take the end of your twine and you touch it to the fabric tack and twist, then it gives you a nice stiff tip to be able to thread through. Yeah, so because this is bowed up, you just slide it through. Oops and then just tie it in a little boat right here. Yeah. So while you guys are doing that, I'll tell you a little bit about what we did for the, um, the next part. Inside of your little bags, you should have a little butterfly. It looks like it's made out of craft paper. And this is from my new mixed media stacks from GCD. And I've made it so that it's compatible with the smooch spritz and the glitter from Clear Snap. And um, it is just the perfect size to fit right onto the Grand Caliber plate. So this is the craft label sheet. So you just place it right on, you put the die on top of it, and then you just put it into the machine and run it through. <laughs> Thanks. But this is backwards. I'll go this way. So what I've done with all of my um, all of my products is I've tried to make them so that they all work together. And then now you have a little sticker. And so what you're gonna do with your butterfly, which is just like this, you're going to take the backing off. Okay, let me take your hand. Here, I'll put it down here. Sure, <laughs> I'll put it, I'll put it in. So these butterflies were die cut with my wonderful wings, dies from Spellbinders. So after you get the backing off, you're going to take the fairy dust glitter and probably over a piece of paper or maybe you're, oh, I think this is probably for it. Maybe? Yeah, there's a piece of paper. So you're going, so after you get the backing off, you're going to glitter the sticky side. So you could use it just as a sticker if you'd like but we are using it to make a sparkly butterfly. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so while you have the glitter out, you're going to take the little parentheses bling. You're gonna take one of these out. So you're gonna to wanna to cut, cut the bling, okay? All right, so here's what I did, okay? So this center part, it looks like a bow. This is not what it was designed to be, but I liked it this way. 
So you place your parenthesis over here on the edge, cut this side off, and then cut it where it meets in the center. Okay? Okay, now glitter the top of it. Okay, so after you get the glitter on, you can kind of rub it in with your finger to make sure it's not going to be sticky anymore. Okay, so now you're going to take your butterflies and you're going to stack those up, the canvas and the denim and then the, um, the glitter butterfly that you made. You're going to stack them all together and adhere them together with the fabric tack. When you adhere the butterfly to the inside of the cage, there should be some foam squares inside of your, your little bags. It helps if you like triple those up so that it gives it some dimension away from the background. Okay, so after you tie the tool to the top of your bird cage, if you want to hit it with your heat gun, it kind of makes it get all wiggly and like it shrinks it down. 